Hello, welcome to Frank's School. This is the 19th day of the six year, <clears throat> first video of two. I intend to go outside and make a second video today. I'll, I think what I'll do is I'll, no, I'll make it as a separate video. But just, uh, you need to remember that if you want to see the other one, it's, it won't be the next day, it'll be the day. I left the, the picture on here <clears throat> for the moment. <clears throat> I'm going to erase it, or at least part of it in a little bit. But I've changed some things. Uh, I know uh, Anita, for example, is, is not, I've changed her orientation. Uh, I, I realized that, that the feed was going to have to be this way with boards going out into space. I knew that. I, I figured I could hinge up a, a table or something, but, but uh, for hmm, other reasons, uh, I'm going to change that. So Anita will actually be, be oriented. Uh, this way, and the, the 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 feed will be like that. Murray, that uh, movable power unit, which you're going to see, it's we worked on it. I'm going to put it under Anita and actually outside of of this area. It's going to be movable like a wheelbarrow, anyway. So so Murray is going to go uh, maybe here because there's going to be one wheel uh, t to drive and, and another wheel over here, which I could drive off either one. Uh, put a brake on the one and the other would drive. And this one might be able to go up to <clears throat> power the swing saw. Uh, you know, the moving this stuff around is tricky. This whole thing may go over closer. The swing saw, I may move out so it's like over this instead of over that. Uh, but I do want it under part of the windmill because of its weight. Uh, so that may move that way. Um, the slab saw, <clears throat> or the cutoff saw that's on the ground, I'm going to take it up to the other sawmill, which doesn't have one anyway. I can, if I want to have something to cut things off or cut slabs off, I can use the swing saw for that. Now, the slabs would have to go out and then come back in. You know, it's again, this is, I'm a teacher. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a sawyer. Uh, or a sawmill operator. Um, all right, uh, and what I've done here is I've, why I'm going to do a second video uh, today is because I want to go out and I want to show you some developments. I want to show you what Murray looks like now, <clears throat> and I want to show you that I've, I've brought timbers, <clears throat> not just these, these timbers, but I've brought short timbers, many of which were just too rotten to use. But I've brought them and I've begun to put them where they're going to go. Uh, so it's kind of a development. Uh, so my location of the individual parts is still being adjusted. Uh, uh, the orientation, well, see I changed the orientation of Anita at 90 degrees. The level, <clears throat> well, you know, I can use this as a reference, that, that's, or the height. Uh, this does not have to be the same height, and I'll probably make it as low as I can make it. Because the, the, with the wind, I don't want it blown over. Uh, so I, I mean, I, sure height once I get up to the sails, but the building itself, I'll <clears throat> so I'll probably just see where I can come get my wood off the ground, and I think this is the high spot, and then just make these level. Uh, now the height on the rest of it, it's complicated. You know it, uh, it, 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 and you know how to figure all this out. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this as my reference because this this all does have to be level going out through there, and then I'll gradually come up. That concept or what I'd said that well I'll have all one big floor, and then I can uh, it'll be easier to do. It would be easier, but I'm not going to have it so lucky. I'm going to have to uh, you know do it bit by bit, and then where where you actually walk that that I can try to make it. Uh, as same, uh, it'll be level. Well, see, something else I thought about <clears throat> is instead of having the whole th a little bit of a slope on it, so that the water, if I use roll roofing or, or tin or something like that, so that water would run off it, I had thought about doing that high here and low there by maybe two inches. But instead, I decided no, I'd go with a crown. If I do anything like that, I'll do with a crown so that. The, the center of it will be higher and the water will run off in both directions because I don't want that water running 
running in toward where the track is. Well, I'm going to come right back, but I'm going to erase uh, part of this. Uh, so I'll see you directly. Hello, and welcome back to Frank's School. Here I am again. Uh, and I erased some of this stuff. There's two things I want to talk about. One, today is April 1st, April Fool's Day, 2017. And it's, uh, April 1st is a special day for me. You might easily think, well, it's because you're a fool. Well, yeah, it could be. But anyway, it was April 1st, 1974 was the day that I came back to the family farm. I actually waited one day. I could have come the last day of March, but I waited one day, which was hard to do because I couldn't wait to get here. But I thought that way I'll be able to remember uh, that day, April 1st. So I've been here for that long. Uh, now the present, well, it was uh, a week ago that my first grandson, uh, first grandchild was born. My daughter had, a, uh, ha had her first child. A baby boy. Uh, so the I, you know, it's not really part of the school, but uh, 2017. I, I'm probably going to remember that. That's the present. Uh, oh, and another thing. Uh, back to the school. I had set this in my mind that I thought April 1st would be a good day to open the opening day for Frank School to actually go with getting people here, populating the village. At a certain point last year, I realized I can't do it. I, I it's going to take me another year. To, to get things to the point that they're believable. Not to get things finished. It'll probably never be finished. It should never be finished, the Frank School, because it's a place to teach and to learn. Uh, isn't that right? Yeah, to learn and to teach. And, and I actually don't even think it's going to be one opening day. I think it's just gradually going to happen. I did a lot of learning uh, and some teaching yesterday with, with, with Andy. Uh, Josh, uh, a neighbor, he, he, he teaches and, and learns. Uh, and John, a fairly new acquaintance, he, he knows a lot of stuff and he teaches and learns. Uh, and then my apprentices, uh, I haven't seen the older apprentices in quite a while now, but I have some younger apprentices and they come and they, even though they're young, they, they've got things to teach and they certainly learn. So anyway, uh, opening day maybe be 2018, if there is an opening day, where people could actually come stay overnight, camp out in the woods or whatever. I don't know. So anyway, that was one thing. April 1st is a special day to me. Uh, now, uh, the other thing I want to talk about is I had written this stuff down before when I said about that tank of water. Uh, is there such a thing as a hydraulic break? Yes, there is. I found that out. Could it work as a governor? I haven't not sure about that, but I don't see why not. And I mentioned a compressor, as it was clear that mechanical energy could go straight into heat. Uh, I had written that stuff down. Well, I've had a little bit of time to, to study a little bit. You see, I'm learning. And I had a water break. I ran into the word uh, term water break. You can look it up in Wikipedia, water break. There is such a thing as a water break. Now, any kind of break is going to generate heat. If you don't believe it, you take something that's turning and put your fingers on there and try to stop it, and you'll feel the heat immediately from the friction. Uh, so a, a water break, yes, there is such a thing. And of course, air brakes. On trucks, there's air brakes. Now, in my mind, air brakes just use the cylinders themselves in the engine, in the engine itself. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll look at it. But there, you can hear a lot of that mechanical energy is turned into noise. Bah, 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 bah. You, you, hear the, you, you hear the air brake slowing things up. And of course it makes heat. Fluid coupling, I've been studying this stuff. I went sort of back to school. Well, I never did. Well, I sort of went to school for some of this stuff. But torque, torque you know, what's a torque converter? Well, there's where Andy, uh, he gave me a quick spontaneous extemporaneous uh, lesson on torque converters uh, the other day. Well, there's also a term called torque absorption. Um, and uh, I want to study this more because I think this tank, I think this will work. <clears throat> I can find a way to use the water in that tank both to absorb torque and to generate heat. Uh, now governing it, uh, you know, it's going to be fun. Uh, you can maybe see, oh, and this teaching learning business, you may participate. <laughs> if you if, if any of you actually know your mechanics, uh, uh, your 
sort of mechanical engineering. Uh, so make a comment. Tell me what I should be doing here. But I, 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 otherwise, I'll just keep forging ahead. Anyway, one of the things I'd like to do is turn wind power straight into hot water. And I think I can do that without going through the electricity. I, I believe that solar power and wind power, and hydraulic power too, one of, the, one of the things that they're just stuck on is electricity. They somehow have to get onto the grid and sell their electricity or, or, or be part of that all so that it can be uh, spread around, so it can be centralized is what it amounts to. Uh, I am a decentralist, and so my impulse is to not worry about taking whatever power I can generate from wind or water or, or, or s solar and export it or sell it or, or no, just use it right there like a, like a car heats up uh, from the solar power. But you know, this, is a, this was kind of a trick to me. How from water power or wind power, how could you go straight to heat? And I've thought about it some, and, and I rather think it's going to be doable. We'll see. All right, I'm going to go outside and make a second video uh, today and show you some of the developments. Bye for now.